the border. But I'm on my way to meet my little girl, but I was just thinking about something. Here it is, 12 o'clock, and I have gotten into this very interesting pattern of, frankly, being in my house all the time. I know y'all always see me going places and doing stuff, but usually I'm just going to the grocery store running my errands and y'all are coming along, but I feel like if we are able to break our patterns, we can really shake ourselves out of our norm, you know? Like, I can be in the house on Skype or doing my work or, or different things all day long. Like, it is not a good thing. You have to breathe fresh air, get out, shake yourself out of the mold, you know? And just earlier, as I was in the house, and it was getting to be about 11 o'clock, and when I get up at 4.30, like the whole, that's the whole day, okay? I've already worked a long time during the day. Well, I was just thinking that is about the time of day. Either I'm going to break out of that and do something a little bit different, or at least move, do some stuff, get on the trampoline, whatever, or I'm going to remain in that, in that pattern of, I can't even say stagnant because I'm working at home, but, what I'm saying is when you start to lapse into your same pattern, let's just say it's the same pattern of, I don't know, you bring your lunch, but then your coworkers want to go out to lunch, and then you, people continually fail at what they're trying to do because they lapse into the same thing over and over. Have y'all noticed this? I mean, I don't mean once or twice. I'm talking about year after year after year, and we have got to break the mold. Y'all, our life is worth, we are worth more than remaining stagnant in that same trap. You know, I mean, there's a whole world, there's a whole life to live, and we want to break out of our patterns so we can do that, you know? I mean, what if you're in the same relationship patterns, or what if you're in, even let's say you're married for a long time, and every day, you know, it's the same thing, and then... You know, you got in that pattern because the kids were little and now now they're bigger and now they're grown and you're still in that same pattern. Hey honey, you're home, what's for dinner? And then you sit down and watch TV or whatever. When you two together could break out of your mold, it, it's not a fact of breaking out of your mold and breaking out of whoever you're with. You can do that with the people you love too or at least let them in on your thought process so they're going to understand that you are going to do something different, you know? That you're going to be alive today. That you're gonna breathe and you're gonna see new things and you're gonna look out of the same eyeballs but almost like through a different lens. Do you know what I mean? I saw somebody using um, this fish-eyed lens on their phone and uh, I was just thinking about how just a little change in the lens can make everything look different. And really it was the same thing that it was filming. It was just a matter of where the focus was, you know? And what you focus on grows. And we've heard this over and over, but every day do you have something in place that you are stepping one step forward to what you're focusing on, to what your goal is? Are you doing that? Or are we just thinking, I'm gonna, manifest these things into my life that we're we're taking no action you know I think we have to have the vision and the action paired together you know there's so many things in this life now we can get sidetracked on that that aren't living and loving you know what I mean I think that a lot of times we can't get to the love for the the hate that's going through our minds all the time hate for ourselves therefore putting hate on others, hate for our situation. You know, we go around and we want to talk about and complain about the things we can't even fix. You know? That's being reactive instead of being proactive and trying to take steps ahead on the things we can fix. Like, what is in your pantry? What is, what is your diet and lifestyle going to look like this week? What is your Friday night going to look like? Or your six or seven o'clock p.m. when you normally drink or when you normally do whatever habit it is you're wanting to break out of to get to the new you. What are your proactive steps? You know, did you go to the grocery store? Did you have a list? And did you think to yourself, I eat plants? Did you think like, I want to buy real food? I don't want to put processed things in my buggy. You know, a lot of times you might if you don't bring it home, you're not going to eat it. 
Now, on the other hand, if you're raising a family and you have other people that live with you and all, you may buy things for them that aren't your food. That's okay. Let them have toys if that's what they want, want right now. You know, you're not the dictator of everyone's life, but you are the dictator of yours. I think this is what we forget. And we can start focusing on trying to change everybody else and not even moving forward ourselves. You know, I know this is a random chat, but I was thinking the other day about how when I'm coaching people and working with people and trying to remember and going back to the stages they're in and what what's going on with them I have to be very mindful of where I am and what I'm wanting to do to progress myself you know but anyway I hope y'all are having a good day and um, maybe we'll film some and maybe we'll maybe we'll go out to lunch with Carly and now that she's on top of the mountain it like it's 30 minutes from anything it's an hour from my house but it's 30 minutes up the side of this very steep mountain and there's not, not even a gas station like <laughs> a person like myself could have to plan ahead on the gas you know this is a problem <laughs> anyway I just want to say hey and um and I meant to look at some more Q&A's um I do know somebody was asking me it's a typical question people talk about uh, social situations and all but you know the thing is doing you, being you. Don't think you've been invited to a social function as a speaker. Don't bring your soapbox. It's kind of a hassle anyway to bring it along. It's, it's cumbersome and, and nobody asks you to get up on that and be a speaker. They ask you to come for you, so be that. You don't have to try to change anybody. You don't have to hate on what they're doing. It's not going to change them like that. They're just going to turn you down. They're going to turn the volume down on your voice. So I find I can go anywhere and do anything with that mindset because all I have to bring isn't my toolbox for changing them, it's just packing my light and bringing it along, which is always with me. So see, it's hands free. It's freedom at its highest. So I hope y'all are having a beautiful day and maybe I'll 